Have you ever wondered why people create limitations for themselves? Hi, I'm Gordon Young from the Institute of Applied Psychology. At the end of the day, we as human beings tend to create limitations for ourselves because we use the past as a reference point for the future. If you lean towards avoidance or pessimism, that past will typically be focusing on and highlighting the negatives. Not exclusively, but predominantly. Now here's a thought for you. Your past doesn't exist anywhere except inside your head. You can't put it in an envelope and give it to me. The past is gone. You can't change what you had for breakfast this morning. So why would we use the past as an indicator of the future? Our future isn't yet written. That too is inside our heads. The our life, if you listen to someone like Eckhart Tolle, our life is the breath we're taking right now. And in this moment, in the here and now, we have the capacity to act in any way we choose. As a human being, we're capable of virtually anything a human being can do. The question is, what will we do? At the end of the day, we typically go with patterns that we've learned. But here's a thought for you. Just because you haven't done something before doesn't mean to say you can't do it now. All your life, you've learnt new ways of being. At one point in your life, you couldn't tie your own shoelaces or sip from a cup. Yet you had the potential to do everything you do right now. And more. So, all through your life, you pushed up against what you thought you didn't know broke through that barrier and learned how to do it. But the trouble is that we then don't congratulate ourselves for learning that. We then just go, okay, that's just part of what I do and it's no big deal. And then we tend to focus on the next thing that we can't do. Let's focus on not on what we can't do. Let's focus on what we can do. The best way to predict the future is to create it. And create it, you will.